Allah continue say wa ma tuna ala al-musi qadaru wa ala al-mubtiri qadaru mata'am bil ma'ruf if you are disengaging them it is good for you whatever you want to give them give them with happiness because what you have it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that what that gave you to haqqan ala al-musini this is what is ordained and what is obligated on all those that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has been merciful upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not keep quiet there alone Let's go to Surah to Tolak. Just because to establish that in Islam, we can what? We can disengage with our wife if the love has expired. A condition that will lead to that, I'm going to mention them. So, in any marriage, if anybody is telling you that Tolak is forbidden, is haram, that person doesn't know what the person is saying. Or either a tradition, or either a constituted law. If they say no, you can't divorce your wife. They don't know what they are doing. They are not using the scripture of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we Muslims, we have to do what? We have to follow the Quran and the Sunnah of Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And what is going to be our guide and our worship? Is the Quran of Kali. And every other scripture, every other scriptures that came before the Quran have told us, every one of them, they are inside Quran. Which every one of us should remember. The Torah, the Injil, the Zabur, all of them, they are inside Quran. Because Quran, Uwa Tumul Kitab. So if you now say we are not going to follow this, which other scripture do you want to follow? So in the Holy Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, after mentioning some of these verses of Daibot in some chapters of the Holy Quran, he now revealed a whole chapter called Surah 2 at Tola, Quran chapter 65. Starting from verse 1, Allah said, Ya you are Ladina Amanu, Ya you are Nabi you. Oh you prophet Muhammad, Allah is even referring to him like that. And if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to talk to Nabi Muhammad, he doesn't call him by name directly. Ya Muhammad, Ya Muhammad, Allah doesn't call him like that. Allah used to use an adjective. Ya you are Rasul, Baligma Udila Ele. Who is Allah referring to? Allah! We always honor Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. That's why we should always be honoring our malas, those that are responsible among them. Because there are some malas that are calling themselves malas. If you even see them, you're supposed to slap them or flood them in market inside market, because they are they are they are they didn't watch what they proclaim to be. They are disgracing the Quran, they are disgracing the Hadith, and they are disgracing the Islam itself. But the honorable ones that preserve themselves, that you on in front of them, see my own, feel you in me, Nazareth, to you. You see the light of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because of the radiance of Al Quran that is in there, we need to honor them. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is honoring Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, why are we not going to honor him and honor? But if you are honoring him, doesn't mean that we should not be shouting, shouting, shouting in the name of honoring Nabi Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. No. And if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to call other prophets, you call them. He call Adam by name direct. Why is called Abu Sa, he call me. He call Musa by name. He call Yusuf by name. He call Nuhu by name. But Muhammad. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Lam yunajihi bi ismihi mujarada. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala never call him by his name direct. Allah used to honor him. The only place where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned Muhammad in the Quran was when he wants to refer to him that he was not any of us. We are not his children. None of us is a son of Nabi Muhammad. When they were calling Usama, Zayi ibn Aris, Allah now referred to him. He now said, Wa ma Muhammadun illa Rasulun. It was, no, it was after the death of Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. 